this video, I'd like to talk about the idea that a sketchbook is a filing cabinet, a safe gathering place, a place to find inspiration, to look back at what you've created and find clues and ideas to take forward. I'm just about to start work on a new series of paintings for a client. And at this inception stage, or at the stage where I'm seeking a beginning, whether I'm working on a personal project or responding to a brief, the very first thing I do is get out a pile of my completed sketchbooks and lay them all over the floor and flick through them. And I take time to look back and kind of go on a hunt for ideas or partial ideas. Sometimes I think, ideas are just sitting in my sketchbooks waiting for me to rediscover them and, and redevelop them. One of the things I love about a sketchbook is that it is a safe gathering place for my art ideas. It's a safety deposit box and a place for me to store half-formed somethings or whispers of things that could be. Looking through a pile of my sketchbooks allows me to follow a thread as it weaves through time to see both patterns and themes emerging. I can spot recurring motifs or colour combinations I love or ways of mixing art materials. And I find that spending a little time just looking back over previous creations is just a lovely way to recall, to retain and be reminded of the things that I might have forgotten. <laughs> I find that spending time with my sketchbooks is like looking through a filing cabinet of ideas. It's a library of successful and unsuccessful experiments and it's where I capture subjects and materials and ways of making art which feel personal to me. So looking back over a pile of old sketchbooks is like catching up with old friends. It's remembering and reminiscing. I particularly enjoy it when my sketchbooks are all open on the floor and I can see them in the round and I can see connections and things I might like to combine together to become something new. Sketchbooks and art journals, I think, contain the seeds of things that we might want to develop and grow. So as I'm looking through my sketchbooks, looking for a starting place, looking for something to develop, I'm asking myself lots of questions. What am I finding interesting here? What do I like? What do I find visually pleasing? What things are calling to me? And I find that my sketchbooks often contain really important signals and signs and reviewing them can just ignite something and give me a really clear new prompt of something that I want to explore. So spending time sort of mining my own artwork can be a really useful way to better understand or better see my art and, and decide what I'd like to take forward. And for me, there is something about art making where everything that we've made before, we bring to our new creations. It's like everything we've already made informs everything to come. And I really relish that continuity and that evolution and that sort of circularity and the fact that my art making feels like a conversation that is continuing. <laughs>